Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and if you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and to all my current subscribers, thank you so much for all your continued support. I appreciate it very much. So today I have for you a small little Dollar Tree haul. My store is still kind of on the slow side. I think they stocked up as much as they could that they had in the back um, and they said that they have not had a truck come back in yet. Hopefully, it'll kind of pick back up here in the next week, but I did find a few things that I wanted to share with y'all guys, and stay tuned to the end. I have just a small little, like, Walmart haul. It's super small. It's just, and these were items that were for a dollar also, so maybe your Walmart near you um, has this certain particular item that's for a dollar as well. So, we'll go ahead and start in, and I want to do a small little review, guys. I have a min pen. Her name is Ginger. So, if you are new to my channel, I have a little red min pen, Ginger. Hi, Ginger. You want to come say hi for a minute? This is my little baby girl. She is so sweet. And sometimes I try to, she loves her toys. Min pens are really big with their dog toys, and she sees it. So, she's been kind of pacing around looking at it, but... I wanted to share with y'all, she plays normally with like rubber toys because she tears toys up quickly. And sometimes when I see them at the Dollar Tree, hold on, when I see them at the Dollar Tree, I do pick them up just to see how well they hold up and if they are for her. Hold on one second, hold on one second. She sees the toy, so she is ready to play. No ma'am, hold on. So. I did pick this up. It is um, this little dog toy like this. It's it's you can find these like at Walmart, Petco, PetSmart, and they're kind of like the tough toy type collection. I don't I don't buy a lot of these for her, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, and I probably will not repurchase any more as far as this um, at the Dollar Tree as well especially when it's like this brand that's from Greenbrier because this is what she did in literally five minutes playing with the toy. And this is dangerous for, you know, puppies and stuff. Look at this. This was five minutes into the toy. So this is one of the reasons why I don't buy these particular items, but just a forewarn, if you have a puppy or one that does do a lot of chewing, um, this is not something that you would need to buy your dog. Um, I love her. She's just like my little kid, um, and I do not want her ingesting this stuffing. So, just um, a quick review on some of these little toys like this. It's not worth the dollar to pick it up. So, she's probably going to try to uh, get those here in a minute, but... Okay, moving along, um, let me show you a few uh, things that I picked up for my grandbabies. These were new in the, like, toy aisle. Sorry about that. I wanted to share with you the toy, but she just was ready to tear into that purple one. Okay, um, as I was saying, this is the Marvel Avengers Color Ups. This is not a Greenbrier product. It's by Savvy. Um, it's just one coloring sheet in here with the four markers. I thought this would be really cute for one of the grandkids to color. And then I picked up this one. It is a velvet arts poster. And you get three posters with the four markers. So I thought that was cute. These were new. And then they had the Littlest Pet Shop, which only has one poster with the four markers as well. And this is with the Savvy brand also. But they have like this uh, glitter background right here. So I thought these would be good for the kiddos. And then I picked up a few books. Now I'm not a really big, I do buy books at the Dollar Tree and they are the best price for some of the books that you can find. But I've seen another YouTuber haul like the kids' books, and I have really been hunting to find 
some books for them so that they can, you know, if they come down, I can read them here and they can take them back home with them. These books literally retail for more. This one is in the U.S. Like this one was $15.99. And it is Roy's House. And I really liked the way that the inside of the book was. It reminded me of like a comic book. Just a little bit. Look at that. This is super bright. So, I thought this one was a good one. And then I picked up this one. It says Monster and Son. And this one retailed for $16.99. I love the illustrations. I need to probably do this another way. I loved the illustrations in the book. I think these would be really good for the grandkids. So looky there. Oh my gosh. And then I picked up a, it's called Romy Robot Bedtime. How cute. This one was also $16.95. And I was kind of looking at the inside of this one and I was just amazed at just the illustration with it. I think this would be a great book for the boys. So, I picked up that one, and this one was called Knuckleheads. Um, it has different, um, it has like Hansel and Gretel, um, but it's Hansel and Gretel, Handerella, Thumbelina, Nose White. I mean, come on, how cute is that, guys? Look at that. So, I don't know how much this one retailed for. It does not have anything on the back um, from what it was retailed. But, um, look at this. Look how cute. Um, let me see here. Like, this one is the story of Handerella right here. So, I mean, guys, if you are looking to build your kids, um, you know, book collection at home. Why spend so much money at some of these bigger stores when you can buy them at the Dollar Tree? Because these are nice books. These are books you would definitely see at like Books a Million and stuff. So, I was excited to be able to find these. This one, excuse me. I was excited to be able to find these. That's Ginger. She's playing. Um, that one is the Nose Wife story right there. So, all right. I was excited to find those. All right, um, in the makeup aisle, I was a, I was I actually seen someone haul these, so I was excited to find them. It's from Bath and Beauty Makeup Brush Cleaner Rinse Free Formula Quick Drying in a five point uh, five fluid ounce. Look at that, guys! Oh my gosh! So I picked up a couple of those to try out. Um, I wanted to see if it might have had a smell to it. I mean, it don't have really a, just has kind of a, it kind of has an alcohol smell to it. Yes, it does have, contain alcohol. So, <laughs> you, you definitely can smell the uh, alcohol in there. So, I was glad to try these. And then I picked up in that same area, I needed a refill for my foaming soap. So, look how big, guys, for a dollar. 32 fluid ounce Ocean Breeze Spa Soap Foaming Soap. Yes. Yes. So, I have used their uh, foaming soap before, and this is the refill for it. So, I'm excited to have found that for a dollar. And it, you need to make sure that it's, you know, for your foaming hand, uh, foaming hand soap. So, yes. Okay. Moving along to the kitchen area, guys. Let me share with y'all these. Now, I was never able to find these in my store. Oh my gosh. And I was so excited to be able to find them. And they are the, let me, let me, let me keep my little thing right down here. They are the bamboo 
cutting boards. These are nice. So even when I have seen these hauled, they do not do these boards justice. So I'm actually going to use one of these for, uh, you know, me using for as what the purpose is for cutting boards. But I bought four and I think I'm going to try my hand at a couple more DIYs and I'm gonna use these boards, guys. I mean, for a dollar, yes. Even if I use two of them for a project, I still have two more cutting boards or two cutting boards and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I wanna do with the next one. So, y'all remember when these came out around Halloween time? They came out with some orange ones and these gray ones. And then around Christmas time, they came back out with the gray ones and the red ones. So I was able to get my hands on the red ones, but I just got my hands on the gray ones. So I got the spoon. Oh, I have a lot of them, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got the spatula with the holes the spatula without the holes and guys these are nice silicone uh, si silicone and bamboo oh my gosh guys and this is a greenbrier product and then i got just the little um i guess you call it a spatula no what do you call this <laughs> spatula oh, okay this is a spatula this is the uh, Turner and then slotted Turner is what they're calling these. And then just the spoon without the holes and then the spoon with the holes. So I bought five of the gray and they had the blue color. Beautiful. Yes. So for springtime, I'm going to try to collect as many colors as I can, guys. I like using these not only for the purpose that they are, but to put them out on your cabinet, your kitchen counters um, as decoration. So I got those and I picked up another set of the blue ones because how cute would this be later for a gift? You know, for the cook person in your life that loves cooking and um, you know, preparing meals and things like that. I think that would be a great idea. Okay, moving along, I went on ahead and picked up some more baskets. They're slowly but surely just kind of putting out more and more baskets in my store. And I wanted to pick up these square baskets in the pink. And guys, you can stack these. Like, just like this. Look at these. So, that's why I picked up four of these uh, for organization in my bathroom. And then I picked up two more of these. Well, I can't get them. I can't get them out. Um, I picked two up in this size as well. I'm so excited to be able to keep finding the baskets. I'm hunting these. I'm trying to find these in white. So if you are near Paris, Texas, please let me know if you have seen any of these baskets in any of the designs in white because I am hunting for a friend of mine she is trying to redo her bathroom and she is looking for pure white ones. So let me know if you have seen them in your store. Okay, these are the last few little items I have. I have picked up some snacks. I have never seen these at my store and they are the rock candy on a stick. So yes, I picked these up and you have to be really careful because they are breaking off and I have been super gentle with them, but I got a pink and a white one. I got a orange and a white one or clear, I guess is what you want to say. And then I picked up a pretty turquoise blue and white or clear one. Um, they're just rock sugar candy on a stick. And I thought these were interesting. I actually got these for my daughter because she loves now and laters. And I actually want to try them myself because jelly beans are one of my favorites. They are the now and later jelly beans. I have never seen these in my store or even out in just regular stores. Uh, so you get apple, cherry, strawberry, watermelon, grape, and banana. So, yes. 
That was an awesome find. And then I picked up these Russell Stover Lemon Pucker, Lemon Candy with a Sour Kick. I love like lemon heads and things like that. So I thought these would be great to just take to work, put them in my purse to have something to, you know, have, you know, when I want something sweet. So yes, Russell Stover, I have never seen this um, ever, not even in a regular store. So I'm glad I found it at the Dollar Tree and it is a 2.9. Okay guys, sorry about that. If it's a little bit of a different angle, I apologize. My camera shut off. So I'm having to refilm this end area of, or this end part of the uh, video. Okay, last thing from the Dollar Tree that I picked up was these Palmer's uh, Flopsies Snack Mix. Um, I recently, let's see, they had them in two like different packaging styles. These right here, like this. Um, I picked up some of the Palmer's Chocolate Santas that they had out and my daughter absolutely loved them. Um, I used them for like the hot cocoa bar that I had put together and she would get them handfuls at a time. So. I think the Palmer's chocolates would be amazing in here, and then you get pretzels and nuts as well. So, yes, if you see them at your Dollar Tree, try to pick them up. This is the first time that I've seen them in, like, the little snack mix. So, I picked up four of those guys. Okay, this is the Walmart portion. Um, I found some items for just a dollar at Walmart, and you're going to be amazed. Now, I did previously um, open some of these up you know, while I was filming previously. So, um, I'll show you. These were, they're all masks, guys. So, just to forewarn, these are all face masks. So, if you're not interested, you know, I will see you later. Thank you for stopping by. But, um, they were originally $5.97 and some of these were $15 that I got for a dollar. So, keep your eye out at your local Walmart to see if maybe they have these on clearance in your area but they are this this is the mask that I picked up one of these this was originally $5.97 now previously I had opened it up because I wanted to show y'all kind of how they were made and they are made very well so it's how it is and it is that th thick cotton and they have like a little chin area and then the little metal part right here on the top. So I did get one that says blessed. And then this what I was this is what I was showing y'all that these packs right here, there were five in here. They were originally $14.97 a piece. Um, they are washable, reusable, one size fits most adults for non-medical use only. This one is like a Monday through Friday. It has like Monday mood, Taco Tuesday, Happy Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Fry Yay. That's what those are in there. And this one is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday also. And with, you know, flowers, a pink one, an orange one, an ombre one, and a tie-dye one. So, yes. $14.97 originally for a dollar. Yes. Okay, I also opened up this one as well previously. It was in this type of package right here. You get two of them, and they were originally $6.97 as well. And that's what they look like, um, that black one. And then I picked up this, like, maroon-looking one as well. Um, I had previously put it on. This is how it looks on me. Most adult face masks are kind of you know, big for me, but they have the nice strap to where you can make it loose or big, loose, or tight, however it is, but yes, for a dollar. I picked up another one. These were originally $6.97 as well for a dollar, and then I picked up for the grandbabies. They had a bunch of kid masks as well. They had a unicorn one, and then kind of like a I don't know, star tie-dye looking one. These were originally $6.97. They had a JoJo Seawall. This was originally 
Two face masks for a dollar, guys. Two face masks. Breezy Easy Kids. It's in this little dinosaur pattern. This little, like, comic book pattern. Yes. They had a Minion one. See, originally $6.97, guys. Four plus for this age. And then they had a Batman one. So I picked them up. I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat it. Um, hopefully, your local Walmart will have them on sale for you as well. I know Dollar Tree carries them, and they have actually carried some better ones like these. I've just not been able to see them at the Dollar Tree. I actually use some of the Dollar Tree face mask as long as well with a like disposable mask. I just kind of layer it on because they are kind of on the thinner side, but. Yes, to be able to pick these up for a dollar, I'm all about that. So, I'll thank you guys for hanging out with me. I am so glad that y'all stayed this long. I will see you in my next one. Stay positive. There's always tomorrow. Bye, guys.